Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Tuesday, November 19th, 2019. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Archdiocese of Detroit is refusing to honor a court order to turn over files that may exonerate Father Edward Perone. Perone's attorney, Chris Kolumchek, spoke with Church Militant today to explain they're filing a contempt of court order against the Archdiocese for its stonewalling. Meanwhile, newly published documents from the Michigan State Police show Perone's accuser admits he cannot recall any specific incidents of abuse by the priest, leading critics to wonder how the Archdiocese could have found the accuser's allegation credible in the first place. Our interview with Father Prone's attorney can be viewed on our website tomorrow. Another member of the scandal-ridden Vatican Bank is stepping down. On Monday, René Brulard, head of the AIF, the Vatican Bank's financial intelligence unit in charge of investigating money laundering and the funding of terrorism, submitted his resignation. He's the second high-profile Vatican Bank staff member to resign after Italian police raided both the AIF and the Secretary of State on October 1st. It's part of a personal personnel shift before an evaluation by European Union regulators. A Dutch bishop is calling on Pope Francis to repent of pagan idolatry. Den Bosch Auxiliary Bishop Robert Mitzertz has joined more than 100 faithful Catholic clergy and lay scholars in signing a statement urging Francis to publicly disavow his participation in pagan Pachamama ceremonies at last month's Amazon Synod, calling it an objectively grave sin. Mitzertz has been a vocal critic of the Synod, which he accused of pushing a hidden agenda that ignores Christ. Pro-lifers are pushing back against a New York law that forces churches to hire pro-abortion staff. Signed into law by Governor Andrew Cuomo, a self-identified Catholic, Senate Bill 660 compels Christian groups to disavow their beliefs about contraception and abortion by hiring applicants who disagree with the organization's statement of faith. Attorneys with Alliance Defending Freedom filed a lawsuit in federal court last week, calling the law a violation of pro-lifers' freedom of association. A new poll shows Americans are losing their trust in the clergy on political and moral matters. Pew Research revealed on Friday that Americans still have a high degree of trust in clergy regarding spiritual matters, but believe clergy need to be silent on political matters. About one in three American Catholics trust their pastor's directions regarding abortion, but have significantly less trust regarding immigration and climate change. Catholics are also less likely than Protestants to seek help from clergy regarding marriage, parenting, and finances. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today. Michael talks about Pope Francis hating on America. God bless you.